friends welcome back to my channel so today Sunday night I'm out as usual I don't know where I'm going but definitely going to find a place to eat because I'm really hungry so I'm thinking where should I go and eat today should I go to McDonald's or Pizza Hut or Pizza Express Subway Wasabi I just passed the subway anyway so that's not an option anymore but still there's a lot of subways but I don't feel like eating subway right now I feel like having a burger and chips so most probably I'm gonna have McDonald's <laughs> uh, anyway let's see how it goes and then I can choose a nice place so friends I hope all of you have watched my Saturday night video um, and yeah so today is Sunday usually weekends the Londoners are always out on the weekends you know I can see the it's, it's very busy out here uh, during the weekends but today it doesn't seem like that busy I don't know why because just a few days ago during Christmas and New Year Oxford Street was really full but today it doesn't look like that it's probably because of the cold and it's getting more cold now so I'm guessing that's the reason so we got wasabi here let's go and see what they've got Not enough space to sit here and eat, so I'm not going to have wasabi. We got McDonald's on the other side. Let's go and see how busy this place is. It looks alright, but I don't feel like having from here. decided where I'm going to eat because my favorite McDonald's place is getting closer <laughs> so I think I'm going to eat from from there tonight the McDonald's that I'm going to take you guys that's one of the busiest McDonald's in London so let's go and see Yes guys, I finally found a nice place to eat. So I'm in a shack. 
Mr. Ali. This guy is from Kerala. Where in Kerala are you from? Kochi. Uh, Kochi? <laughs> okay. What's your name? Faris. Uh, Faris? Faris. F-A-R-A-S. Faris. Okay. Nice to meet you, Faris. So, I am going to have this burger and chips. Guys, looks like a all of this stuff in this shop are from Kerala. <laughs> All the boys are from Kerala. Are you also from Kerala? Kerala. No. Oh, you're from Canada. Hello. Okay. Yes, my name is Tony. I have a YouTube channel. Yeah. Uh, it's called London YouTuber. So. London YouTuber. Yeah. Where are you from in Kerala? Kerala, Kochi. Kochi. Yeah. And you from Kochi too? I need not to go. And what about him? Gujarat. He's from Gujarat. But he looks like a money. <laughs> okay. Is there any other Malayalis? Oh, a lot of Malayalis. How long you guys been here? So two years. Two years? How's it going? It's going good. You like it? Yes. You like being in the UK? Yeah. Do you Better. get enough pay? Huh? <laughs> no. When you ask about pay, nobody is happy. <laughs> yes. The Malus are always happy, you know. <laughs> no matter what. That's my vegan burger and fries. Ooh, that looks yummy. I got some mustard and some ketchup here. So let's try. Let's try the chips first with the vegan cheese on top. I can't believe all those boys working here are from Kerala. <laughs> That's amazing. I was going to have McDonald's, but I changed my mind. Because then I saw this on the way, you know. This is a new vegan burger. Usually here they don't have good burgers. So that's why I never come to this place. Mm. The chips is okay. Actually, there is a stick with this. They put a lot of spring onion in my rice. I don't know, it's because I'm I'm from Kerala. They did it like something special. <laughs> Probably not. I 
I like the burger. I didn't like the fries much, but the burger is nice. I'm not a big fan of the curly fries. I don't like it. Well, the portion is big. You give me a lot. This cauliflower fries looks like a caterpillar. They put onion fries on top. That's nice. Tastes like onion budget. Chips has become cold. Turn the boy, chips. I like to eat the fries with my hand. Mm. Uh, it's yummy with the mustard and mustard paste, mustard sauce. The burger is really nice. Definitely better than McDonald's.
look at the burger buns, they become soggy. Yeah. I like the spices they put, it's very tasty. Very different taste from the usual burgers. I still got plenty. Oh, this is really filling. Yeah, I finally left the Shake Shack. Oh my god. I feel like after having the burger and fries, I feel like I spoiled my tummy. <laughs> uh, the burger was okay, it was tasty. But the fries was like, fries was like too salty, too salty, and too much mustard in that. I think the vegan cheese they used was so salty. So, um, the fries, no. But the burger was alright. Okay, so now I'm going to find a place to have something nice and sweet. Uh, I probably end up in the Donut place. Everybody is eating something. The problem is, we don't have enough vegan options for dessert. Oh, this guy. wondering why the streets are so empty today and usually Sundays are not like this in London so then you know the guys who are working in uh, Shake Shack the Malu guys they told me that there is a train strike today that's the reason it's 
less people everywhere. Because especially the Shake Shack is usually very busy. So today when I went there, like, there was only few people. But when I was coming out, after I finished eating, when I was coming down from the stairs, the place was full. So yesterday after that video, I actually, I didn't go home straight away. Um, you know, in that video I was showing you some people were dancing on the street. So I, when I finished making the video of yesterday, I went and joined those people who were dancing. And after that, I went home very late. Probably like 11 something. Yeah. Uh, it was really nice. What? What's happening here? Human life freedom. No, somebody is staying here. Like, wow. Wow, look at this boy. Oh, this is a protest. Execution. Guys, I've been looking for a nice place to have some vegan dessert, but so far I couldn't find anything. The shop that I just went, uh, the one that I just been to, they only had a vegan chocolate ice cream, hazelnut and chocolate ice cream. I don't feel like having ice cream right now. I want to have something else.
I think she spoiled that song, in my opinion. That's one of my favorite songs, you know. She was singing in, in her own way, or maybe in her own style, but no. She spoiled it. watching my videos guys I don't think I'm going to buy anything sweet for today I'm just going to leave it for today and I'm going to go home and have something to eat because it's so cold today is too cold Look guys, this pistachio cake is vegan. I'm gonna try it. Guys, I bought that Italian vegan pistachio cake. I'm just gonna try it. So I was trying to find a place to sit and have my cake but unfortunately I couldn't find any place and not just that, it's too cold also out here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go home and try my Italian pistachio vegan cake and I'll let you guys know how it tastes. Bye bye! Hello friends, I came back home with my vegan uh, Italian cake because outside was too cold and I couldn't find a place. So let's try the vegan Italian cake. Pistachio. They packed it very nicely, just like giving a gift, like, you know, like a Christmas gift. <laughs> It's nice. Oh, there's another box in it. So. Wow, the yummy Italian pistachio. Cake. Oh, I don't want to spoil it. Oh, oh, I don't know how we're gonna have this. The top cream is gone in my box. There you go. Wow. 
That's a little bit more in the box. Only a little bit. That's it. Let's put it away. So that is the vegan Italian pistachio cake. Have a look at these guys. Vegan pistachio Italian cake. Wow, look at that. It looks so greenish and beautiful and yummy and delicious. Let's try. So there's a plastic around the cake, so we need to make sure that that's taken away. And now, I am going to try the cake. Mm. Before that, with some mango juice, Right, now let's try this delicious vegan cake. I'll tell you how exactly the taste is, okay? Let's cut it from here. Oh, wow. Wow, it's so yummy. Mm. I think, I think this is the first time I'm having Italian cake and that's even vegan. And uh, it's really nice. Mm. So rich, so delicious, so sweet. The texture is so, it's so soft and you know, the moment you put it in your mouth, it just melts, you know, it just melts in your mouth. Wow, this is amazing. And guys, I can't believe this is vegan. Mmm. Mmm. Have a look. Oh. Let's have some juice with that. Oh, I was very thirsty after having that shake shack shack shake is it shack shake or shake shack anyway the burger the fries were so salty and so much mustard taste in that it was way too much mustard i think that's what made me feel so thirsty you know wow wow this will do i'm satisfied i think there is some chocolate as well in between Mm. Mm. This definitely in my list. Every time I want to have this pistachio vegan cake, I'm going to go to the same Italian shop. Mm. Oh, wow. This is definitely better than donuts. <laughs> um, I don't know. But actually, this is one of the best cakes that I ever had so far. Pistachio cake, especially. Mm, look at this color. It's not artificial color, food color, anything. It's just pistachio. Mm. Wow. 
Mm. Wow. I have no words. Oh, wow. I don't think I'll leave it for tomorrow. It's a very big piece. Oh! I dropped it. And you know the sponge is so soft. Very soft. I wonder how they made it. Because usually vegan cakes are not that soft. You know? The sponge will be a little bit dry, but this is very moist and rich and creamy and delicious pistachio vegan cake. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Italians, I'm really impressed, you know, because um, I, I heard that Italian cakes are really nice. But I never tried it. But now, the first Italian cake I ever tasted is vegan. And even pistachio is one of my favorite flavors. <clears throat> Whether it's a cake or ice cream, whatever. Mm -hmm. This made my day, definitely. And I am giving this cake eight. Uh, I would say, yeah, I can give eight out of ten. Yeah. I usually never ever give, if it's so good, anything, any sweets or any, any food. If it is so so good, I still won't give over seven. Seven would be my maximum best score. But this cake, I give eight out of ten. So now you guys can imagine how good this is. Mm. Mm. You know, I always pass by this shop. I never thought it was Italian. Because it was decorated and uh, like it looks more, it looks like a Middle East kind of uh, restaurant. And a lot of Middle East people go there actually. Um, yeah, so today after I had this <laughs> shake shack, shake shack or shack shake or whatever. Um, <laughs> and uh, my little guys, if you guys are watching my video, Thank you so much, okay? Um, yeah, those Malu guys, they're all from Cochin. That's another surprise. I can't believe all those boys working in there. I think the 90% of them are Kellites working in Sheikh Shack. And most of them are from Cochin. Well, I didn't get a chance to speak uh, to all of them. But I think three or four boys I spoke with, they're all from Cochin. Um, yeah, let's forget about shak shake. Now this is Italian pistachio. Wow. It's really nice, you know, so yummy. If I can get the whole cake of this of pistachio, I would be so happy. Oh. I feel so thirsty after eating this rice, the salty mustard uh, fries, curly fries. Had too much mustard today. Mustard sauce. And vegan cheese is usually very salty, you know. I don't know why. Mm. I really can't believe that this is vegan because vegan cakes never, never ever tasted so good like this. You must try. Mm. 
Mm. So I was looking for some nice dessert after I had the burger. And then, so there was a lot of shops, but they didn't have enough vegan options. So I was quite disappointed. I thought I would just go home. There was ice creams available, but then I was not feeling like having ice cream in this cold. So then I was like, if I can get some like uh, crepes, vegan crepes or hot chocolate or something chocolatey. That's what I was looking for. But when I passed this shop, I was like, wow, look at these cakes. It looks really nice. But then the, especially this, particularly this green cake, I didn't know that it was vegan. I was just taking video and I, I, just, I was thinking in my mind, I was just hoping, uh, I wish it was vegan. But I just simply looked at it. I was trying to read, is it pistachio or what? Then it's written vegan. I was like, wow. I couldn't believe it. I I couldn't really believe it. And I was like, or oh, maybe I'm mistaken. I, I went back to read it again. No, it's written vegan. It's vegan, vegan, vegan pistachio. Oh my God. Then I didn't give a second thought. I didn't even look at the price. I just went inside. Mm, the shop is that it's like a cafe or a restaurant like it was a very beautiful place but it was quite full so i didn't want to sit there and have the cake because i wanted to talk you know this is a vlog so i need to talk so i thought okay let me just go somewhere else so that's it the cake is finished hmm? it's just melted all everything going into my mouth just melted wow it's so light as well you know you don't feel like so heavy sometimes it was some cake you know like even vegetarian before i used to eat vegetarian cakes and all like um you feel so heavy when you had that you know so um fatty like isn't it butter and eggs and so fatty cakes when you finish eating that like a big piece like this you will usually feel so tired and heaviness but this one is so light i don't even feel like i had a cake a big piece of cake right now it was so light, you know, so light, so fluffy, so soft, and so ah, melt in your mouth, just like a, just like a wow. <laughs> I don't know. I heard that somewhere. So anyway, let me finish my juice. So my Sunday dinner is over. Satisfied with this vegan pistachio cake so thank you all for watching my videos and stay tuned continue watching my videos okay and those who haven't subscribed please subscribe it fast and thank you all for your support okay and especially thanks to those malu guys they're working really hard in shak shake and um, when i was talking to them people were like Somebody was saying that all oh, these guys are so happy, like, and I was telling to them, yeah, Malu people are usually like that, you know, they are very happy, no matter what. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, as you can see, me too, I'm always happy, trying to be happy because life is too short, people, you know, everybody got lots to worry in this terrible life. So, make yourself happy doesn't matter whatever it is you know like maybe it's a food or going somewhere do something nice and me I'm a foodie if you want to change my mood just give me some good food and a good dessert <laughs> okay so I think um, uh, it's been a long time I need to stop my video here and I'll be coming back soon with another amazing video thank you all for watching bye bye